Well, hello there and greetings. It is Matthew MacDonald here and I am working on a solution for you. But if you get stuck and you're a bit of an advanced user with your SEO checklist, you're thinking I've almost got them all checked, but I can't get a meta description. Now, I'm working on a little additional add-on for you, which is going to make this super easy for you to manage your meta descriptions. But I'm going to give you a workaround in this video because I mentioned that in the previous video that I will show you how you can do it without any additional plugins. So we're going to do it in this video, but please, this one is a little bit advanced. So I don't want you to get in there and mess up your WordPress setup and even lock yourself out. A lot can go wrong. So a disclaimer, this particular video is going to be for advanced users, people who don't mind working with PHP code. I have provided a snippet for you, but again, this is for advanced users and for everybody. Even if you're advanced or not advanced, I mentioned earlier, I'm working on a solution to make it easy for you to manage your description and page title, which can be a little bit of a pain in WordPress. In fact, if we have a look here down the side menu under the page tab, you can see here SEO title and description. This is how easy it's going to be. I'm going to be I'm working on this. You can see it's almost ready here, this solution and getting it out to you. But in the meantime, without using any other tools, if you are in this situation, click in refresh. I'm getting all of these ticked, but I just need to fix the meta description. Here's something you can do as an advanced user. If I jump into the uh, members area here, and scroll down the bottom of the page. There is a little bit of a code snippet there. It looks a little bit ugly here, but it's fine. It is a PHP snippet and you need to use it as it is. So you can go ahead and copy that and we're gonna pop it into our theme. If you wanna do this into our theme to, uh, to get that description meta tag on our website. So back inside of our WordPress admin, under the tools here, I'm in the way, you're gonna find something called a theme file editor. We're gonna go ahead and click that. Now I don't recommend you do this unless you're an advanced user, okay? So if something goes wrong, you are responsible. This is, this is not part of the product. This is not SEO checklist. This is a bonus video for advanced users. So here we go. We have a theme function. It's functions.php. Giving that a click, we can make edits in this file. We're not going to change anything here. We're going to scroll to the bottom of the page here. And we're going to put the cursor right at the end there. And let's make a couple of extra lines there. Here you go. And I'm just pasting in that messy looking snippet. And then I am clicking update file. Now I've got a note there. File edit edited successfully. That's good news. I've got that there. Let's go back to our editor here. And we're going to click refresh. And look at that. We've got everything checked there, ready to go. Now, let me just quickly show you what that code snippet actually does. So if we just switch over to the code here, this is what it looks like in a, uh, a proper code editor. And we are just adding a little bit of a snippet here to the WP head. Uh, we are working with posts here and basically it is going to generate a less controlled 
description but automatically generate a description for your post so it's going to grab a little bit of content from your website get rid of the tags kind of turn it into a text snippet and put a relevant description into that description field it's not perfect but it's better than nothing and then if you're on the home page it's going to go ahead and use your blog description as the description snippet and then if you're inside of a category it can also use that description from the category description all right so again let me emphasize you if you want to wait like a day or two or until i get in contact with you i have this coming this is built on top of the seo checklist i didn't want to create a new plugin that you need to install so this is like an extension of the seo checklist you do install it like a plugin but it's tiny it's micro tiny it's like two pages and it runs off the seo checklist so it's really cool it's exciting um, it's it's not all these hundreds of files and everything like a typical uh, more advanced plugin it runs off the seo checklist but it just extends that checklist so that if you want to have this seo title and description you can add this to your wordpress editor all right i'm going to have another video for you when that's available and coming to you very soon all right that is a wrap for this video it is matthew mcdonald here more videos to come